what's going on guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy Jim graphics if you're new don't forget to subscribe to this channel share this video and if you have any question drop the comment in the comment section below so um recently we had um a design about funeral program so today i'll show you guys how to export your um your funeral program or magazine for printing all right so once you're done with your design you're going to learn how to export how to arrange them do you understand because initially we designed with um two page layout so it's not the way you're going to print it so i want to show you guys how to arrange them and export them for printing so stick around this video to the very end so you don't miss out with any information all right so without any further ado let's jump straight to the video welcome to Grindr, guys so initially guys this is the design we've done if you don't understand where we started you can go and watch the um episode one to the very end which we have designed already so guys um once you're done with your design huh um this is what you're going to do you're going to create another page all right i'm advising you to create another page so that you will have the same um copy on your system sometimes there might things you'll be doing and it will affect it will affect the work you're doing already you understand so in terms of covering the font and font change so guys if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed um believe me you won't understand anything i'm doing here yes you won't understand so subscribe to the channel to understand all right so let's continue so what you're going to do is you're going to come over to um new or you come over to file all right then you will select new new document new as in to open a new document all right so right now you will see this you can save it as a uh, magazine magazine print all right so um click on this all right so what you're going to do is you're going to create an a4 um a4 size we're going to lay it on a4 size because initially we designed on a3 all right some people usually design on A4 continuously to the very end, but I don't do it that way because I always want to see the um, pages, how I'm doing it, how it's going to turn out before I will lay it for printing, all right? So don't be confused, okay? So right now we have um, this page. So what you're going to do is you come over to um, your letters on your property bar and locate um, A4. Once you select A4, guys, what you're going to do is Come over to where you um, have your design already. Then copy, all right, the first page, all right? Once you copy the first page, you're going to do this for everything, all right? So copy the first page and paste it, all right? So once you copy and paste, what you're going to do is, basically it's on A4, so um, it's on A5, so what you're going to do is make sure it's on A4 size. So basically, just copy this, copy this, um, copy the size, just size this to A4, guys, size it to A4 size, all right? Size it to A4 size, sorry. Once you're doing this, just make sure it's fitted to A4, all right? I don't want to make sure it's fitted to A4, all right? So this is your A4 size. So this is page one. This is the cover page. You come to um, add another page, page two, all right? Now what you're going to do is, once you select, make sure you curve the font. What I mean by curving the font is, if you don't curve the font, once you take it for print, it will actually change like this um the font will change once you remove this from another system from your laptop to another system the font will change all right so what you're going to do is copy again once you copy paste it once you paste it um i'll, do, I'll change it to a5 because we actually wish initially designed with a4 but make sure it is sized to your uh give it your specific size the spider size is supposed to be A3 to A4, all right? If you don't understand, drop me your comments. All right, so I'll change it to A5. If it's on A4, make sure it's on A4, all right? So this is what we're going to have. So um, let me change this to, let me copy the initial one because I don't want to waste time, like, resizing it. 
So let's just maintain, just in case, let's assume you're actually designing with this size, all right? Just make sure you're, um, you know. All right, so if you want to cover the font, you guys see, guys, this is actually editable right now. This is editable. As you can see, it is editable. In the sense that I can change the font. So it is not advisable for you to actually um, take this from your system the way it is to print, all right? So you control A to highlight or control G to group everything. Once you do that, you can um, use control Q to cover it. Control Q to cover. You guys see, you cannot edit it. If you like, take it to US, take it abroad. It will not change, all right? So once you do that, you can do every. You can do the same for everything. Copy page three. That's why I want you guys to, uh, um, you know, have it on a separate page because if you do not do that, once you cover it, you you cannot go back to get the editable file. So get a separate one. All right. So right about that, as you can see, curve curve your text. Call your text, copy. All right. Add another page, paste it, copy it. You can see if you're copying it, you can see it cannot be edited. All right. So that nothing changes on the text. All right. So let me show you how it's it's been carved. So you can see if you paste it now, huh? If you paste it, you will see the text box is there. So once you do Control Q. Or command Q, Control Q or Command Q on your system, you will see the text box is out. So this is what you're going to do for everything. For everything, for those of you who like designing on a single page, your style is your style. My style is my style. All right. So um, Control Q, make sure it's fitted to frame. Use um, letter P to you know fit it to frame. So copy this one. So for this one, guys. What I would advise you though is, what I would advise you is, okay, let me give you an advice. You can save this on a separate file, save it on a separate file, you understand, so that you have a duplicate of it. So, right about that, why I'm saying this is because this text box is actually going to be connected to, let's say this one is connected to this page. All right? Let's say it's connected to this page right now. So, if you copy this one, it will affect the next page, the text will shift. All right? So, what I'm going to advise you is, save this to make it two once you make it two or make it twice once you uh, make it twice you can actually select one text box curve it and curve this one so if you curve this one if it's affecting like if this text roll down to page 30 it will actually curve to page 30. do you understand so that is what i'm saying so make sure you have a duplicate all right so um create the page and um add another page you see if this one was connected to this one it will curve but it's not connected so if it's connected and you curve just the other one it will affect this page so you have to make everything aligned all right so as you can see this is what i'm doing copy and paste so this is how I design though. I don't design on a single sheet, this single sheet. No, I always like seeing my work aligned before prints, all right? So as you can see, so let me give an instance now, all right? So you can see this one is just single. If I cover this one, if I cover this one, it's just single. But if I cover this one, it will affect this one because you can see it's connected. Look at that blue stuff here, it's connected. So let me just cover and see, you see? It has actually connected. So that is what you're going to do. So let me ungroup so that we're not going to lose this file. So just copy. Copy. And um, paste here and cough. Control Q to cough. And um, Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Add another page. Paste it and cough it. Then what you're going to do is basically add pages. Once you add pages, all right, add pages and um, cover to this, paste it, but make sure you cover it before you copy them. I understand what I'm doing, that's what I'm telling you. Make sure you cover it on that page before you copy them and lay them on a single page, all right? So this way, 
All right, so as you can see now, this one ended at his. This one ended at his. So you can just copy them and um, copy. Once you copy, add another page, paste, paste it. Control Q to cough. Add another page. All right. Copy. So you're going to do this to the very end of this program. All right. So for those of you who charge this 2000 naira for a project, I'm not telling you not to charge, but you can see the work we're doing on this. All right. So add another page. Letter P to make it fit into the frame, just the way we normally do. Letter P to make it fit into the frame. For right now, this is, let me say, this is the very end of this. So make sure you copy, make sure you copy your back page. Don't forget it. Your back page is the last page. It will be the last page. All right. Let's assume this is the booklet you're printing. All right. Let's assume this is the booklet you're printing. So we have, let's start from the beginning. So let's assume this is, normally this is an 80 page job. So let me say this is from eight, page one to 80. This is first page. The last one will be the back page. So you're going to lay it like that. First page should be the cover page. While the last page should be the back cover page. All right. So you're going to lay it this way from page one. So once you're done, you can just page number it. You can use the automatic page numbering, but I don't use automatic. I use manual. You just put a letter here and put number one. Change the font as you want. All right. I always like it to be small, like very, very small. And I always put it in the middle. So you put page one, page two, page three to the very end. All right. So I recommend you to use uh, manual. All right. Use manual so you can design it the way you want. But you can use automatic. If you don't know how to put automatic page number to get to the very end, go and check. I've done videos. Some of you ask me questions of things I've already done, which is I'm not actually finding it funny answering if you know you're new just go and watch my there are more videos not just this one there are more videos right so right about that guys um you can see so once you're done you can see page one page two page three page four page five page six to the very end all right this is how you're going to do it so the last page will be the cover page that will be the last page everything you've done this cover page will be the last all right so i don't know i don't know how to explain it again for you guys so so once you're done guys you can come over to fat all right save it as and um come over to desktop you can actually add um add a folder and call it prints or you call it prints open the folder and if you if you're conversant with your printer you can actually um if you're conversant with your printer you can actually ask them the 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 press like you can ask them the the correct draw they are using. If it's lower version, you actually downgrade it to lower version by coming over to version. You can see version over here. Once you go to save us, you can see version will have 15. But I recommend you saving that as uh, make sure you have the version they are using. But I recommend you save it as 17 so that some some if some things like colors, um resolutions and all those kind of things will not spoil, it will not change, you understand? So there are effects that might change if you downgrade it to 15. So I don't know why people are still using Corel 15, 13. I don't know in this modern age. So once you do that, just save it as 17. Minimum, save as 17. That's what I recommend. Save as 17. And make sure they have 17, version 17. So once you're done, you can save the Corel Draw. Always send Corel Draw. Do not send anything. Don't send JPEG. All right, send Corel Draw. Send Corel Draw, all right? Once you send Corel Draw, they will know what to do. Those of you who are asking me how to do dummy, I'm not going to teach you how to do dummy here. Just carry your job the way I've laid. Go to press. Do your stuff and print. You understand? So right about that, guys. So as you can see, this is how I normally lay it. One after the other before I print. All right? One after the other. And make sure you curve your font. Curve your font. So it has saved. So if you come over to our folder, we have prints. So you can see the file over here. So you can just copy this on your flash drive. Take it to press, all right? Or you can copy or send it via email or anything. Then go and supervise your job, all right? So thank you guys for watching. And um, if you have any question, if you're confused in any way, for those of you who are calling me, please, I will see here. Yeah, 
there are a lot of messages i will attend i will i will send correct i will send photoshop i will send all these things for you guys but it's one after the other all right there are lots i've been sending but i'll keep sending all right so guys thank you for watching my videos thank you for always being here and um share this video and give it a thumbs up please thumbs up actually help my video and it helps a lot all right all right all right all right all right all right so see you guys in my next video.